Hello to all of you. I'm with Deloitte Thomas Consulting. My name is Modi. So for myself, I'm going to talk about Deloitte Thomas Group, what we're uh, doing about quantum uh, computing. So I'll give you a quick talk about that. A brief self-introduction. I'm with Deloitte uh, Thomas Consulting. My name is Masaya Mori. So at Deloitte, uh, I handle uh, the advanced technology like 5G or blockchain or, or recently Web3 Metaverse. So for those advanced technologies, I am uh, the Asia-Pacific lead. Well, today I'm going to focus on quantum computing. So I'd like to talk about some uh, topics in that arena. And as uh, I've written uh, or shown here, you see some drones, pictures of drones flying in this uh, chart. So I joined Deloitte in 2020, March of 2020. Before that, for 14 years, I was a director of a certain internet company leading the R&D effort there for 14 years. And I was engaged in 5G, AI, drones, UGV. So I was uh, engaged in the social implementation of such advanced technologies. So I'm capitalizing on that uh, experience uh, to provide uh, support to companies and industries. So my talk today is uh, centered around why Deloitte is working on quantum. And I'm going to talk more specifically about this quantum club uh, that we operate. So I don't want to raise your expectations uh, too much. So I want to say that this, uh, this latest uh, uh, technology, how is it uh, uh, being utilized in the society? Um, or our effort is just trying to uh, expand that. I mean, providing that uh, advanced technology uh, and how to develop the use case, those are quite important. But on the other hand, how to raise the social acceptance uh, is also important. So we're more active on that latter part of the effort. So why Deloitte is working on quantum? So quantum computing. I'd like to talk about some use cases. Now, quantum computers or quantum computing, well, there are various technologies around it. And what kind of business applications can be envisioned? I think that's an important topic uh, for you. And I said that uh, I am the lead of the utilization of advanced technology. Now, the so-called 5G and drones and uh, their synergy with quantum computers is one topic we can look at. So people talk about the regulations and the development of drone technology. And uh, there are still uh, hurdles uh, for its development. But what's expected for the future is that uh, in urban skies, urban airspace, various drones and various uh, mobility means uh, will be used. So it will be flying about or uh, moving about in the city. So it's very different from the traditional urban transport. So you have this a large a number uh, of uh, devices, and so you would need some kind of uh, real-time system to control that. So you can perhaps uh, have a combination of quantum computer with uh, beyond 5G or 6G. That's often talked about. So 5G, as you know, allows uh, multi multiple uh, terminal uh, communication and uh, real-time and high-capacity communication. And the quantum uh, computer uh, has high-speed processing, mass computation, and optimization. So by combining these two, you can find use cases. And I think that is being discussed. And uh, you can 
think about business use cases coming out of that. So advanced technologies, is it really going to develop into social infrastructure is an issue we need to address. There are various technological options, and it maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be 5G. Maybe it doesn't have to be quantum computers, some may say. So rather than that, in order for that to become a social infrastructure, I think the important aspect is uh, what kind of uh, social issues quantum computing can solve. So we're focusing uh, on a social issue solution, and uh, uh, we're going to provide uh, support uh, for use cases to solve social issues. So here I show 1 through 10 social issues, like a climate change issue or poverty issue, how to uh, solve that, how to improve health care. So there are these 10 uh, large social themes. And how can quantum uh, contribute to them? Unless you cultivate that kind of a use case, uh, you will not see the actual dissemination into the society uh, for uh, quantum computing. So developing such use cases is uh, where we are focusing our efforts. Deloitte Thomas Group, or Deloitte Group as a whole, on a global basis, has more than 300,000 uh, members. So the quantum computing uh, team, or quant quantum technology team, uh, we have quite a large number worldwide. And I show the photos of the leaders in each of the regions. And uh, there's a concentration uh, in Europe quite a large number of leaders there. But we form a community on a global basis, and we collaborate amongst regions in our activities. And uh, needless to say, quantum, well, there are people uh, who are specialists with uh, PhDs in uh, quantum computing, but not just that. People who understand uh, industry needs and issues, and uh, those who need understand business applications. So there are those technology uh, consultants, and then there are the, uh, or rather, there are the business consultants, and then there are the technology consultants that connect the two. So uh, with uh, these members, uh, we are engaged in activities. Uh, to uh, have quantum computing contribute to social uh, issues. Uh, and uh, uh, we have this uh, uh, Deloitte Quantum. Uh, it's a global initiative, and we've been able to develop this kind of, these kinds of ecosystems. And so we uh, join various conferences, uh, like QT Q2B, or IEEE, or World Economic Forum. So we talk to uh, corporate management, and we try to be thought leaders, and we try to collaborate with academia. So quantum computing today, well, it's not about placing large uh, computers at uh, each of the data centers, but it will be provided through the cloud. So there should be alliances with cloud players, and uh, also in hardware and software, uh, we have alliances uh, with the top players and the startups. And th precisely, this is the strength of Deloitte, that uh, we do audit business. That's our core business. But around that, uh, uh, we have a huge number of clients. So amongst our clients, amongst our customers, uh, there are those companies that have needs uh, for quantum computing, so uh, we can match the needs. Uh, so we are active uh, in these uh, ecosystems. So in terms of promoting utilization of, of quantum, uh, so domestically, globally, you can contact us at the Deloitte, and uh, uh, we uh, can connect you to various uh, people in Japan. Uh, myself, another partner, uh, same name, Mori. So it's a Mori Mori uh, uh, team. And so uh, around us, there's a team of uh, various uh, experts, many uh, with PhDs. So we're developing uh, or supporting the uh, development of emerging technologies. So
So, with that、uh, ecosystem, what are we doing in more concrete terms? Well, we are engaged in various initiatives. Amongst them, I'd like to talk about our in- activities around the Quantum Club. So, as I said at the outset, we want to enhance the social acceptance of、uh, quantum、uh, computing. So,、uh, we want to、uh, expand the base for、uh, quantum computing. And for that, we are engaged in this quantum club activities. Well, you are participating in this、uh, conference, so you understand already the significance of the technology uh, and uh, the usefulness of the technology、uh, or the potential achievements that、uh, could be attained in the future from quantum computing. And so, development of、uh, quantum is actually being led by people like you. But、uh, in many companies, quantum computing is、uh, a buzzword, but they don't really understand what you can do with it. So, many business people、uh, are at that level. But as you know, emerging technologies. Well, it takes、uh, maybe 10 years. Uh, for practical hardware or software to actually emerge. But if you wait for that, the market will already have changed. You have to、uh, develop human resources and build networks before that. And、uh, also internally, you have to develop the strategy and use cases.、Uh, so if it takes 10 years for it to be actually achieved, you have to、uh, prepare your internal systems. And in companies where they don't understand what the quantum is, they have to、uh, collect information, establish strategy, and start、uh, experiments where they can. And、uh, with、uh, an eye toward、uh, the future 10 years from now, they have to take action in the market. That's what they need to do. But in the field of、uh, quantum, If it's a company that has a key person, a person who has experience researching quantum computing, that would be easier. But most companies don't have such people. And so,、uh, in the early phases, it's diff- very difficult、uh, to work on this kind of、uh, topic alone.、Uh, and it's inefficient to go work through trial and error. So,、uh, Activities、uh, should be pursued jointly, not just by the single company. Maybe join up、uh, with other companies with the same kind of thinking and、uh, jointly engage in activities. And then, in terms of use cases, you can identify them and you'll be、uh, able to chart a path toward、uh, their utilization. So, on the right hand side, I have written social perspective. So, exploring use cases,、uh, utilization of technology. And、uh, so、you will have limited、uh, depth and breadth if it's just a, s- a few companies that understand. You have to have collaboration amongst the companies、uh, to、uh, explore this and develop this. If you don't do this for the Japanese society as a whole, Well, if you look at the investment amount in quantum by country, I think you've seen that、uh, w- Japan's investment is very small, like one tenth of one twentieth、uh, of other countries. And you can see it's a huge investment、uh, being made in China, our neighboring country. So that's the situation we are in. And if we just、uh, let the 10 years pass by,、uh, we're going to be very much behind、uh, in. Quantum computing from the outset. So, how to raise the social acceptance and how to have collaboration amongst the companies、uh, so that we have democratization of quantum computing? How to take action upfront for that is going to be key. So, at the Deloitte Group,、uh, we're forming a community、uh, centered around the users of、uh, quantum technologies. And、uh, there's this team. Uh, Community that has, acts as a foundation, and we are joining as a DX advisor to TMIP. TMIP is Tokyo Marunouchi Innovation Platform. It's a consortium. So, companies in、uh, Otemach Marunouchi, Yurakucho, in that p- 
particular district, central part of Tokyo, how can these companies in that the district uh, create the innovation? That's the point of this consortium. And uh, we borrow uh, that stage, that field. And uh, we have uh, Sumitomo Corporation, uh, the, one of the speakers here. So we have these com companies uh, who are uh, taking advanced uh, actions. And uh, there are also new users uh, who want to participate but don't know how. So th we bring them together uh, to develop use cases uh, and to create a new industry. So we have a debate uh, and uh, we uh, put together a playbook and uh, various uh, POCs are established and uh, new use cases uh, are uh, developed or cultivated. So I think increasing that number is important. And then the social acceptance of uh, quantum computing 10 years from now uh, will be enhanced. So this year, we established this uh, quantum club. Uh, currently, 25 companies are participating. So companies, uh, more companies taking interest and in contacting us. And so it seems that there will be more members joining. So I said that the Deloitte, uh, Deloitte is making ecosystems. And in this uh, event, we have these uh, top companies uh, speaking. And this is those companies and also the top academic researchers, we invite them to the circle or the club uh, to understand where we are in terms of the uh, top researchers, what's the uh, front line of uh, uh, development. And also we collect the, uh, the uh, expected use cases uh, from the member companies and consolidate that kind of information. So this is our schedule. So as of now, uh, we are holding uh, workshops, study sessions, and uh, also we're developing use cases. I said 25 members, but uh, not just companies, but uh, there are some individuals who are participating, and we are deepening uh, debate around these participants. In the latter part of this year, toward the creation of uh, innovation uh, creation, uh, we're going to start to build a framework to allow that to happen and to accelerate various activities around that. This is the uh, annual schedule. So we invite top people uh, for our workshops. So we'll continue to hold them and also work with companies uh, to develop use cases. So at Deloitte Global, we collaborate with various startups and we conduct various projects. So the Quantum uh, Club, that also is going to uh, collaborate with the global efforts. And so in this uh, Q2B conference, uh, we have various uh, companies who are speaking here. And uh, the, there are many companies who are already collaborating with us. So that kind of uh, uh, global collaboration we want to further enhance going forward. So if you are interested, please do participate. And the speakers here, I would call upon you uh, to also uh, cooperate with us. We may ask you uh, to come to uh, uh, come speak to us as well. So we hope that uh, uh, you uh, would consider. So for social uh, implementation, how can we expand the base uh, of uh, quantum computing is what I discussed today. So various advanced research and initiatives, we should uh, be linking up with them, collaborating with them, and uh, we'd like to promote this kind of grassroots activities. I look forward to you, your participation. 
So that is all from myself. Thank you for your attention.